Okay, Rich Van Tassel back with you. We just saw the conclusion of the Dallas Mavericks on the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Mavericks pulling off a shocking victory in this one, 85-84. A basket by Steven Adams on a tip-in was waved off the end. Um, it looked like it was no good from where I was watching live, and sure enough, it was no good. And give the Dallas Mavericks a ton of credit, and frankly, you've got to... You've got to question the Oklahoma City Thunder in this game. Really, the story is Kevin Durant, 21 points, 9 rebounds, 7 of 33 from the floor, 2 of 11 three-point shooting. Russell Westbrook, 19 points, did have 14 rebounds and 6 assists, 8 for 22, 1 of 6 from the three-point line, 15 of 55 between the two guys. That's under 30% between these two players. They're too good for that. And 3 of 17 from behind the arc. Durant was 5 for 5 in his free throws. Russell Westbrook 2 for 4. And, you know, this uh, a lot can be made off the blown lead. Uh, going into the fourth quarter, There was they were showing it on television. We know this has been the story all year long. I, I believe that now makes 15 uh, blown leads going into the fourth quarter. They had a three-point lead going into the fourth quarter. And... Uh, yeah, this would be number 15, so the first of the playoffs, obviously, because they crushed uh, Dallas in the first round uh, game. Now, Rick Carlisle, we know he's an exceptional coach, and he was able to get this victory today, especially with Dirk Nowitzki, 7-19 shooting, 17 points. Really, Darren Williams and Raymond Felton, the two point guards, were the difference. 21-13, and 13, Felton had the 21. Darren Williams had uh, the 13. 8-16 of 16 for Felton, 5-9 of 9 for Darren Williams. 11 assists or 11 rebounds for Raymond Felton. Only eight assists between the two of them. I don't know where Raymond Felton is getting 11 rebounds from, but hey, um, 13 of 25 between the two of them. So they certainly did well. Devin Harris was key off the bench. He was plus 18, and Sala Majiri was also plus 18 in this game. You know, hey. You got to dance with who brung you. This is who the Mavericks have. And you got to put all hands on deck, especially with all the injuries. He had 12 points in this game on 5 of 7 shooting. But the real story is the Oklahoma City Thunder with this. This is really, I mean, apart from the blown fourth quarter leads, obviously that is something that concerns you. You know, that that is something that I look at as a season-to-season -season thing, especially in the NBA. This, you know, might just be the year where that happens. But the bigger issue and what it's really been, I think, Oklahoma City's bugaboo, apart from injuries, is the fact that it just simply becomes Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. Now, you fired Scott Brooks, and this is you know one of the situations where I'd actually agree with uh, more of the mainline uh, pundits and analysts out there, It's and, and you can't deny it, it's just way too much Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. Serge Ibaka it is... Not better than James Harden, obviously, we know that. That's clearly a big mistake, but hey, that happened. That's well in the past. He's got to play better than this. And and the fact is, you just don't really have guys to go to, especially in the starting lineup. You have Randy Foy on the bench. I happen to like Deion Waiters. I think he's an athletic player, and I would probably start him over Robertson in the starting lineup. Give them a little more punch because you just... When these guys are not making shots, you're going to have a problem. And that's simply what we saw today. And Oklahoma City, I don't doubt Oklahoma City is going to win this series. Dallas is just too undermanned. They're too depleted. No matter how good of a coach Rick Carlisle is, he's not going to figure his way out. But certainly, and Oklahoma City looked a little lackadaisical coming out. You know, you can't really help that because you just pounded this team the other night. But, you, I mean, you have to expect Dallas is after being humbled. They're a veteran enough team. Uh, you do have Nowitzki and Berea, guys who have won championships on this team. They're not going to, you know, just come out and lay down after being knocked around like that. And, you know, that's – if we're just simply looking at coaches, obviously Dallas would win this series every time because Billy Donovan, this, you know, isn't the SEC. This is the NBA and the NBA playoffs. you got to have your guys ready every night. And they didn't have them ready tonight. And no adjustments made. Again, just Durant and Westbrook hoisting up shot after shot. And this is the result you get, 85-84. Now, it just shows that Oklahoma City still should cruise to this series win because those two guys shot 15 for 55, and they only lost the game by one. But 
Hey, going back to Dallas 1-1. So you got Houston and Golden State on now. I won't be up to watch the end of that game. I will give you a recap of that tomorrow. And, of course, the games we got going on tomorrow. The Celtics are playing the Atlanta Hawks in Game 2. You also have the Memphis Grizzlies and the San Antonio Spurs in Game 2 tomorrow as well. So we will be uh, all over those tomorrow night when they come on. Maybe stay up for that second one. I don't know. It's just too late on the East Coast. But certainly the Celtics and the Atlanta games. So um, you got, again, Golden State Houston right now. And tomorrow we'll give you the recap of that. Thank you all so much. And we'll see you tomorrow. Back and ready to go. We'll just keep them coming here in the NBA playoffs.